Hello, this is Roland Jung from Plan Canada. Let's talk about these industrial connectors, these quick plugs that we sometimes use to actually connect on the outside of our panel. Technically, they will appear in something like this at the outside of your panel, and you will hook up some field devices directly to this. But they come in multiple different pieces. When you look into it, you have this mounting base, which will receive a module carrier frame like this one. And inside this frame, you can actually mount one of these insert contact insert modules, which are typically representing the pins that you will be connecting to. Now, inside ePlan, when we focus on the schematic side, this is what it is. It's a bunch of here we're talking about three or four pins depending on which module insert module you buy and then you have a so-called plug definition and this plug definition is the one that carries all the parts you know to to make it easy to all these three parts so when you go to the ePlan data photo you will find this component and it will be accessible for download now and um, once you have it downloaded here in the data portal, you can, of course, use it at will. But you will see that we have a few things missing. Now, we have uh, number one missing when we look up the part. And I will show you how I created this part. I have a master part, which is my housing. And the housing is complete, no problem. But I added the other items as accessories, even required accessories. So the first item here that I added is the uh, carrier frame, which I had to completely create. And not only create it, I also had to add and create here the macro that was related to it. So I imported the step file. Now, for both parts, you can find these individual download step files in the download section on the Phoenix Contact website. Fairly easy to find. You just download them and you import them inside your ePlan. You import them inside a macro project. So to start with, we will just start by looking at the main component here, the housing, and you will see that this housing actually has two mounting aids here. One is HC Gehäuse and the other one is HC Einsatz. I'm going to use these mounting points to actually help me install uh, these individual accessories when I come and place them. So you'll see how it actually looks like when you actually place them. So technically what I defined here is I define the mounting surface, so the placement area, and uh, not the mounting surface placement area and I created the handle exactly over the same spot as my mounting point. So this is the number one part and the number two part is this one here which has I believe the level here but this is something that we have to check exactly where this center point here matches up with the HC Gehäuse to make sure the depth is correct. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. So technically, when you come back to your schematics, you start, if you start with a plug like this, you probably would start by inserting a plug plug definition, okay? So once you start creating a plug definition to start with, you can come here, do a device selection, and as you pick the uh, device selection itself, uh, make sure that here you match up what type you want, whether it's a female pin or a male pin, because this way your device selection will be smart and you will have access to this item here. You can double select them. And at this point, what's gonna happen is you have one, two, three parts selected. So far, so good. And this also here, because I created a number of pins, I can then drag and drop the pins. I can say what this is for, um, you know, when you want to say, okay, this is, let's say, for my limit switch uh, number two, etc. You can predefine these, whatever, okay? Coming back to my second panel here, I'm going to show you how I place them. So what I do is very often is I just align myself here, and when I place this object, of course, I just 
place the base exactly in line with what I want, or I use here the control W and I can say, okay, I want an offset, let's say of 150 millimeters from the bottom. I want it 50 millimeters in. And this gives me a, an offset that actually allows me to pinpoint exactly a corner point or a center point or whatever you want to address, right? Now, as you know, inside ePlan, every time you play something, you have a small checkbox. So uh, this item here is not yet checked. Obviously, this is the center here, which is the connector piece, right? The small connectors. So the second one, the PL2 that we just created, you start by placing the base. Same thing again, if you want the base to be at a certain distance, control W, you say the distance might be same, 150 from the top. And you can even choose here if you want to, you know, like a specific point uh, or whatever, and boom, it places, it's up to you. So you have your base that is placed, you have your mounting points that are there, HC Gehäuse, and the other one is HC Einsatz. And this is for the Einsatz, so this is basically the carrier frame. You can just come and dump it there, right? It's gonna ask you, and confirm if you it, it, it's not 100% sure. And then you can actually insert the pins or female pins, which actually just go there dead center and you have it. So this way you just created, um, let me just take away here the mounting aids a little bit easier. You can see that we placed exactly the objects as we want. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure about the depth here. Uh, if I picked the exact uh, location, uh, I believe I did, but this is something that I have to check with the Phoenix contact documentation. But the idea behind the scene is right now, I manually place these objects. I could have probably go even one step further when we define these accessories. I know that Rital does that quite often. They even add some accessory placements that could be done with base points and then it, they could appear automatically. Now here I'm handling them directly as three parts. Um, you can see the main part here in terms of function template, I only used it to define the plug definition for female pins. The carrier itself has no function template, but then if I go to the female insert, which is the one I just created here, this is the one where I have the different you know, uh, female pins and the designation of what they are. This is what allows me later down the road to go inside my schematics and inside my schematics, pull out the correct number of pins here, um, according to what we see here. As you can see, I have four pins, three of them placed on this one, zero of them placed here, but each part is placed individually. I believe this is the correct way to show this inside ePlan Pro Panel. So I hope this actually helped you. Um, other manufacturers do it a little bit simpler because they sell it as a one object, has all three uh, accessories. But here, I guess we want a little bit of flexibility and that is the reason why we get these uh, the way we see them. I hope this helped you. Thank you, Roland Jung from ePlan Canada.